Hey guys, what's up? It's Aposex here, and today I will be giving you guys the most complete, um, just every little, little, little feature in iOS 4.2, plus all the big features. This is iOS 4.2 Beta 1 for the iPad, as you can see. So I will basically show you that every feature that I've seen. Now, if I miss one, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, if I can get there, in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure I've gotten most of them. Now, I'm sure there's some that I still haven't found, so that's why you can leave a comment below and tell me what I missed. So let's go ahead and get started. Just before I get started, I'd like to say that this uh, 4.2 update basically just brings everything that the iPhone 4.0 had. So as you can see, if I double-click the Home button, it brings up the multitasking bar right here. And you can edit and delete applications. Now, just a quick little note here in the multitasking bar. If you rotate it to portrait, you have six icons, but in landscape, you have seven. It's kind of annoying, to be honest, because if you know where your applications are, one kind of moves out of the screen from landscape to portrait, but it is not the end of the world. So either way, just a quick uh, notice there. So now let's go ahead and swipe to the left. And as you can see, they've added some new um, controls and stuff from iOS 4, such as the brightness indicator. They originally looked at... Originally it looked like a volume slider, but it's actually for brightness, as you can see. So it's definitely a really cool feature, and basically replaces SB settings, in my opinion. That's what I use it for a lot. So here are the music controls that work with, you know, Pandora and stuff like that. You've seen that on iOS 4, nothing new. And then right here we have a new button that locks the orientation. So if I press it, I can lock the orientation. Now, people might be wondering, then, what does this button do? Does it do the same thing? Why would Apple put a put a software button if we already had that? Well, actually, this button right here, if you flip it, is now actually the silent switch for the iPad. Now, some people might like this, some people might not. I personally really don't care. I, I don't care at all, but I think it's useful sometimes to have it as a silent switch and sometimes useful to have it as a... Um, Sometimes useful to also have it as a orientation switch. So, whatever it is, uh, whatever you like, I don't know. Maybe Apple will change it back if you don't like it. I'm not sure, but they will receive feedback from these betas, and we'll see how how it is in the final release. So now that's pretty much it for the multitasking bar. You know, it's your normal uh, multitasking right here. You just jump to different applications here, just like that, and you guys have all pretty much seen it before. Nothing um, nothing that new here. So we're going to take a look at folders. I, iPad finally has folders. I've been wanting this for a long time. As you can see, they have folders. They can have up to uh, 5 by 4 so 20 icons per folder. Obviously, you can have less, but you can have 20 icons per folder, which is a lot. A lot more than the 12 on the iPhone 4 and iPod Touch and basically all the smaller iOS devices. So that is a welcoming upgrade, and as you can see, we can take an icon right here, drag it over, and go ahead and put it in there, and it's in the folder. So that is folders. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Game Center. Game Center was included in iOS 4.1 for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and is basically the same thing, just redesigned for the iPad screen. So as you can see, here are games that are on Game Center, and then if it loads, which it doesn't seem to be loading, it's not really loading my name. As I said, this is a beta. But my name is just Aposex if you want to add me on Game Center. So go ahead and add me on Game Centers. As you can see, I don't have any friends right now, so you could be my first friend. <laughs> Either way, just go ahead and add me as a friend, and I'll be happy to play any of the games with you, or at least that I own. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at something that Mac Stories um, actually noticed right here. So if you set an alphanumeric password on your iPad that you can do on your iPhone on 4.0 or greater, it slides up a black keyboard. This is very interesting. It could point out that Apple may be changing to a different colored keyboard. So let me go ahead and just type in my password here. And I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, it's a black keyboard. It has everything. This is not jailbroken. This is built into the iOS 4.2. Now that's really the only place it's present at the time for the iPad is concerned. It's not on the iPhone or iPod Touch right now, but for the iPad it is on the lock screen. So I don't know if that's only for the lock screen. I don't know if Apple will put it in other applications. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a choice 
whatever it is, we'll have to wait till the final release to find out. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the Unified Inbox. This was another iOS 4.0 uh, feature for iPhone and iPod Touch. If I go back here, you can see all inboxes, um, different inboxes, different accounts, and stuff like that. Nothing major there, but just to show you, it does have Unified Inbox. It's a big win for me because I do have multiple mail accounts, so I find it very useful. So now we're going to take a look at printing. This does not work right now, but it is a feature in iOS 4.2. So if we go to this button right here, we're going to go ahead and let's just tap it. And you can see there are new, there's a new option called print. So if we tap print, I can search for a printer on my network, but I believe currently it only works with HP printers. More printers will be added by the final release, but it will say no printers found unless you have one of, I believe it's only three printers that will work with it right now. But other than that, more printers will come so you can print directly from your iPad and other applications besides photos. So that is another cool feature. Now this next feature I can't actually show you, but it is called AirPlay. I have um, AirPlay basically allows you to stream. If you get a movie playing on your iPad, you can go ahead and hit a button and it'll stream it to your Apple TV. This requires you to have the newer Apple TV, which is not out yet, but by the time the official 4.2 comes out, the Apple TV will be out and you can stream music, photos, and stuff over to your Apple TV wirelessly. So that will be a really cool feature and is one of the major new features of iOS 4.2. Now let's go ahead and take a look at settings. There's always some uh, cool stuff or interesting stuff in settings. First thing that you notice is that there's an airplane mode now for iPad Wi-Fi um, only. And I believe, I'm not sure if iPad Wi-Fi plus 3G had this before, but iPad Wi-Fi only now have it. So it's definitely welcoming for the airplane and stuff. It's nothing major, but it is once again nice to have. So the next thing is if you go to general, you can see that home has been re replaced by spotlight search. This is because you can no longer change what the double button, uh, double button clicking does because um, it's set to the app switcher. You can't change it, but you can modify how spotlight works. So I can unselect it and stuff like that. So another thing in settings is notes. You can now have different fonts in your notes. So you can have um, checker or chalk. Yeah, chalkboard, Helvetica, or marker felt. So it's a good option. It's cool to have some options to choose from for um, what's it called? The fonts for the note notes application because some people like to take notes in other fonts. So it's definitely welcoming. Now we're gonna go ahead and let's just load a web page on Safari just to show you how it goes. I found that it's a little bit faster, but scrolling on here is not as smooth. I'm not sure why, but or I am sure why, it's because it's a beta, but it will improve later. Okay, so there we loaded a website, and as you can see, something new up here is that there's a new um, number over the tab saying how many tabs you have open. Before, it did not say this. Another small feature that's neat to have, and um, some people find it useful, some people won't. I will personally find it useful. So the next part is the iPod. Just a quick... A uh, little uh, thing that I noticed on iPod is that the Add Playlists button, I believe it was not down there on 3.2, and it is now down there so you can quickly add a playlist right there. So nothing major right there, but there is the iPod playlist. The last thing that I have to show you guys, at least that I know of, is something in YouTube. If you're searching or looking at videos, you can see that they show the percentage of likes, like it shows the ratings, but now that we have thumbs up, it'll show you the percentage of thumbs up and what they're at in different percentages so you can see which videos are like fake and stuff like that right off the bat. So just another minor feature that I will personally find interesting I like browsing YouTube and watching other YouTube videos. So that is my iPad 4.2 complete feature over guide. If I missed anything, like I said, go ahead and leave a comment down there. But other than that, I think I pretty much got everything. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Appos X for more videos on everything Apple, jailbreak, apps, and more. And um, go to my website, Appos X. Follow me on Twitter at Appos X. And thanks for watching.